Hello everyone, welcome back. We are working on our first pasta dish today. Um, it's a vegan if you want it to be, or not vegan if you don't want it to be. Um, the version we're making today is vegan. It's a pumpkin coconut cream pasta. Um, I chose it because, you know, it's almost Halloween, pumpkin's a thing. And this one is, it's another really simple ingredients, fast, get it on the table. It's got full of nutrition. Pumpkin's actually really, really good for you. It's full of vitamin A, um, which is a, a very important nutrient. Any of the sort of yellow vegetables are good in that respect. So um, I've got everything over by the stove though, because it's so simple and so fast that we're just gonna get started on it. So, first thing we do, crank up the heat on the bottom pan. And now we're not too worried about things sticking this time, so I'm not gonna go with the old, you know, hot pan, cold oil thing. Doesn't really matter in this case. A little bit of oil in the frying pan. Not a lot for this, because all we're doing is sauteing a little bit of garlic. So, I'm gonna put a little bit of garlic in there. Now, you can add as much or as little as you like, but this is not about the garlic. So we can get that, saute that. I've already started the pasta. Um, it's just about ready to be cooked actually. So um, literally get your pasta going right away before you start your sauce. When you're cooking pasta, lots of water for the pasta so it can, the water can move around the pasta heavily salt your water. You want your water to taste like the ocean. The, um, the rule of thumb when you're using salt is the less time the food is in contact with the salt, the more salt you need. So because pasta doesn't take very long to cook, you want a lot of salt. And my dog clearly just found her chew toy. Um, <laughs> so. <laughs> We're just gonna walk through her chew toy for a little bit. Hopefully she's quiet. Oh good, Pasha got the chew toy away. So we're gonna drain the pasta now. Um, something else I learned, I'm gonna drain this over a bowl to catch some of the pasta water. Pasta water's a really handy thing to have a little extra of because you can use it for thinning your sauces, but it still adds flavor. So I'm gonna drain it right into the, into the sink. Please, whatever you do when you're cooking pasta, don't put oil in the water. A lot of people think you should do that. All that does is coat your pasta with oil and then your pasta sauce doesn't stick. You want all that starch so that your sauce sticks. Okay, garlic's ready. So now we're gonna put in um, this is a giant tin of pumpkin. Your recipe calls for one tin, which I realized I didn't actually put the size down. I'm giving you a small tin. This is huge. I'm only going to use half of it. So, pumpkin goes in. Then, we're going to add the coconut milk. Now, this is coconut milk. Give it a good shake before you open it because sometimes in coconut milk, the cream rises to the top and all you get is a little bit of water. So you wanna give it a good shake. And then we're gonna open that up and pour it in. Now, I don't recommend you add the whole can all at once. You could do this with cream if you wanted or milk. I happen to love the flavor of the coconut milk. So we're gonna put a little bit of coconut milk in. And you're just going to keep stirring it in there until it's the consistency that you want it to be. This is... I think I'm going to need the whole can, so I'm just going to go ahead and dump it all in. And then very gently saute it, bring it all together like this. You just Now, if you have a whisk, you could use a whisk. Or just keep stirring it with your spoon. Just 
Did you know, have you seen the uh, pumpkin spice craft dinner that's come out yet? Who knew that that would be a thing? I mean, it's bad enough you go to Starbucks and you can get pumpkin spice lattes and you can get pumpkin spice cereal and you can get pumpkin spice everything. But I think pumpkin spice craft dinner is just going a little too far. This looks beautiful consistency. It's nice and thick, creamy. If you wanted, you could thin it with a little bit of the pasta water. But I don't think it needs it. So, next thing that goes in, a little bit of thyme. If you had sage, that would work really well. Oregano would work. I happen to love thyme in this. So we're gonna put some thyme in. We're gonna put some fresh ground pepper. We're gonna put a wee bit of salt. I always, sometimes I try and remember to put it in my hand first so you can actually see how much you're putting in. Let's see how that goes. Okay, that is, that's it, that's it. Super, super easy. So we need a spoon so we can taste it, make sure it doesn't need any more salt, maybe a little more thyme. Get fresh thyme, maybe you got some grown out in your yard. Nice thing to put in there instead of dried thyme. So let's see. Tasty, my opinion, needs more salt. So for me, yeah, I know, put it in your hand first, but I happen to like a lot of salt, so I'm putting a lot of salt in there. Stir that around. Now you can do one of two things. You can pour the pasta right in here, coat it all that way, or you can put it the pasta on a plate and uh, put the sauce on top. Mm, much better. That's downright tasty. Turn that off. Now I'm going to plate this separately. Got a nice big bowl. We're going to put some pasta in the bowl. Put the pasta in there. We're going to put the sauce on top. Like that. And there you have it, pumpkin coconut pasta. Enjoy that. And I'll talk to you all next week, okay? Take care, bye.